Hey guys, it's Roscoe, and on the Space Couch today, I'd like to talk to you about a company called Firefly Space Systems. Now, they were founded in January 2014, originally based in Hawthorne, California. That's where SpaceX are based. But they're now based in Austin, Texas. It's founded by this guy called Tom Markusic. Uh, PJ King and a group of entrepreneurs <coughs> who have uh, self-funded the company similar to Copenhagen Suborbitals I guess in some ways now Firefly they're also proponents of the new space industry that's trying to increase access to space through uh, technical advances to reduce launch costs and also to lessen the dependence on the legacy space institutions like NASA, JAXA, the ESA and all that now this Markusic guy, he has previously worked at SpaceX and also Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin and he's got a background in propulsion engineering, that's rockets. Uh, so yes, he clearly knows the industry working at those companies who, I mean, they're all doing slightly different things or greatly different things in some cases, but that's a very good all-round experience to have had. Now, the name of the company, Firefly Space Systems, um, it comes from when uh, Mr. Markusic was sat on his back porch one night, just watching the fireflies just buzzing around, you know, and he thought, you know what, one day, that's what the sky's going to look like with all the ships leaving for Mars and the colonies. I like that, don't you? I think that's really good. Nice way to get the name for your company. Um, so, now, they've developed an aerospike engine and self-pressurising propellant to help increase the, increase the payload fraction on those rockets. Now, currently, most rockets use inert gases to maintain the pressure um, in the stages while they're full of fuel. Now, by removing this requirement, and making the propellant self pressurizing, you cut the weight, you know, you cut the weight, you cut the complexity, you cut possible failures, you increase your payload fraction to orbit, you know, you can launch more up there for less. Who does that remind you of? Hmm, what was that company he worked for, the other one based in Hawthorne? <laughs> now, they propose using uh, methane and liquid oxygen as their fuel for these rockets. Now, they're very clean burning as these things go, and also cheaper. I mean, methane, I mean, it's not like it's just lying around to be used, but I mean, technically it is, I suppose. I mean, it's. I think it's the cheapest fuel you can use. Um... By using those clean fuels, it reduces the need to refurbish the engines between firings, you know, assuming you've got an element of reusability, which I assume they will do in due course. They do hope to be able to uh, recover and reuse all the launch stages, not just the first one, you know. So that would be very interesting. And yes, you would definitely want your engine to be able to fire over and over and over and over and over and over again. <coughs> Now, they've developed their vehicle, it's the Firefly Alpha. And now that will carry satellites up to the weight of 400 kilograms, so just under half a tonne, into orbit. So they're going for that small sat market, which is what SpaceX did when they first launched. It's a good foothold into the industry. I mean, you launch a space company, you're not going to be launching like the James Webb telescope on your first flight for instance, you know, or any sort of national um, surveillance sort of asset. It's going to be some little university program or some sort of satellite company that's maybe going to chance its arm and try a new provider, you know, so that's what they're aiming for. Um, so obviously, um, this is a lightweight carbon composite rocket again reducing the weight and increasing the payload fraction, you know. It could be the carbon composite rockets will be the way things go, as there's a couple of people working on these guys in Rocket Lab, I believe. Um, so very interesting, because, I mean, they're working on these small rockets, obviously. Now, if it was like a Falcon 9 or a Falcon Heavy was a carbon composite, now, just think what that would do to the cost. Assuming there's no problems with that composite, of course. It'd be pretty interesting. Um, I wonder how much extra payload they would be able to throw up there if they had the carbon composite um, stages and self-pressurising fuel. Hmm. Uh, maybe it was a concept they looked at and decided not to go forward, and maybe that's where the guy set up his own company. Who knows? Who knows? <coughs> 
Well, they know, obviously, I suppose. Now, they're also planning on a Firefly Beta vehicle. Um, now, what that would be, that essentially would be like the Falcon Heavy, in that it is a multi-core design. Several of these Alpha rockets grouped together. I assume one in the centre, one either side on the core, or possibly clustered around like some of those Russian rockets are. So anyway, guys, that's another rocket company. Isn't that fantastic? And they're also trying to self-fund, which is also good to see. Now, let's hope that they're successful. It would be brilliant if they were. I mean, just I just love that name, Firefly. Obviously, there's the sci-fi uh, aspect to it as well from the, the Serenity movie uh, and TV show. Um, always happy to see new entrants into the new space race. More of that, please. As always... Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this overview of um, Firefly Space Systems. Please subscribe to my channel, obviously leave a comment or a suggestion for an upcoming topic or hit that big high five.